Hello. Bye. Nice to see you. Hi. How you doing? This is, um, I actually have to pee, so I'll be right back. I'm not kidding. I actually have to pee. Stay right there, though. Nah, I actually do have to pee, but I'm gonna wait until after I'm done filming because I'm too lazy to go right now. So hi, my name is Louise. How are you doing today? It is very late at night, so if I get yelled at in the middle of this recording, then it is okay, okay? Fine. Recently, I've been toying with the idea of talking about a subject that I promised myself I would never talk about on this channel just because I think it's interesting and I think that we can all learn something from this. I mean, I learned a lot from all my years of being on YouTube. A whole 12 years of YouTube. Also, look at my dog. Yeah. But this is something Something that I think I need to talk about in order to fully show that I actually know what I'm doing sometimes even though my channels get gets this this many views this many views but I definitely think it's something that I'm knowledgeable on and I don't I'm not I'm that knowledgeable in a lot of things so this is how I made ten thousand dollars on YouTube as a 16 year old so I actually got monetized back in 2017 so I started making money when I was 16 but most of the money I made on YouTube was in that year span so I technically was 16 when I made a majority of this money but in reality like I probably made or hit 10k when I was probably like 18 but that's really not much of a difference so like I mentioned previously I'm not actually gonna give you the name of yeah I have a buddy here <laughs> sorry I just like holding stuff this channel I made when I was literally 10 years old and I didn't start being monetized like I said until 2017 but I actually before YouTube changed their policy I did actually make 22 cents when I was 14 so technically I could say that I made 10k when I was 14 but that's a com that's a that's a lot like I mentioned at the beginning of this video I don't really want to talk about the specifics of this channel like I'm not gonna give you the channel name just because in a way I should be proud of this but it's embarrassing just because of the content that I created and I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat it was toy content like it was me as a little kid I started making this channel when I was 10 years old so I was playing with little Pokemon toys and stuff and throughout the years I still played with toys it was just like I did that till I was 19 years old I was an adult in college with my first job and I was still playing with toys and there's honestly nothing wrong with that and I'm one day gonna look back at this and be like why didn't I just give you the channel name it's because I'm still learning how to be proud of the thing that I created on YouTube and you know what for being 16 I was pretty successful in terms of like I got 10.5 million views on this channel alone so I had 33,000 subscribers this channel was literally half of my life if no actually this was more than half my life because I started when I was 10 I stopped when I was 19 20 technically I've been on YouTube for 11 going on 12 years and that is insane and keep in mind this is isn't the only channel I was making content for. I was also making content for this channel, but I stopped because I just lost focus on this one, but now I have focus, so now we're back on this one. And a Pokemon channel, which I still post on, so that's fun. But yeah, if you're watching this, maybe you even know what the channel is, and if you do, please respect my privacy and don't post it in the comments. But one day I'll be proud enough to tell you about it, because honestly, like, I am proud of it, but not to the point where I can share about it yet. All right, so I think I should talk about some tips and tricks that I learned when I started making this YouTube channel. Like I said, I I did it for over a decade I learned a lot <laughs> like a lot so the first tip is and I think this is honestly the one that I took most care on on this channel is the branding and marketing aspect for example if you go on a channel and you see nasty sloppy stinky thumbnails you're not gonna want to stay on that channel maybe there's a channel that you found a viral video on you clicked on the channel and all the channel is like discombobulated and stuff so like none of it makes sense none of it is cohesive a lot of people are gonna click out of that channel so what you got to do is you got to develop your own branding so so that means using the same sort of font on your channel thumbnails if you do use fonts using the same editing style at least in your thumbnail videos I feel like you could be a little bit more lenient on but when it's like something that the person has like 0 0.02 seconds to decide if they want to click on it then you got to make sure that your actual thumbnail looks good and looks cohesive to all the other ones that are on your channel crackers in a way you got to keep in mind that your channel is the product and that is very important my second tip is honestly be genuine and reply to comments you do not understand how important important it is to show your true actual self in your videos because if you're pretending to be somebody you're not you're gonna get really tired and bored of it really fast and honestly it sort of happened to me which is one of the reasons why I sort of left the other channel because I was having fun and I got like to a point where I had to just say you know what this isn't really me anymore I wasn't having fun and I wasn't posting consistently but if it's a channel like this one where I'm actually having a lot of fun making videos on this channel I actually get to show my true authentic self to you and you can tell that I'm being true and authentic. Hopefully, I mean, I, I don't know. And I hope that you like me. Do you want to kiss me? I'll give you a kiss. I'll literally give you a kiss. So yeah, people can tell when you're being genuine. So if you're not,
not being genuine and if you're just posting just to like make money then people can tell easily when that is happening and I don't think that a lot of people realize that when they post like that but it's true it's definitely true and going back to the whole like reply to your comments if you're a small creator and you get like two or three comments reply to them you don't understand how much that helps people remember who you are and I I'm honestly guilty of not replying to comments it's just because I used to be so inconsistent on this channel where I would come back a month after I posted and I'd be like oh my god there are two whole comments that I did not reply to I gotta reply to them ASAP but I try to reply to all the comments that I can just because it is fun interacting that's like kind of like a big aspect of YouTube is interacting with the people who are watching you if you don't do that you don't really have that connection with your audience therefore people aren't really gonna remember you but if you interact like I said they will number three check and study your analytics oh my god this is so this is literally like your lifeline of YouTube analytics if you didn't know are basically like free and provided metrics by YouTube and YouTube studio that basically tell you where your views are coming from if your video performed good why your video performed good and where importantly I already said this but like where your traffic is coming from so you can literally go on a video that did good and check where did this come from did these views come from somebody clicking a link on Twitter it's not gonna be that specific to tell you that it's on Twitter but it'll say like third party this will also be like was it on someone's recommended page and they clicked on it was it on their home page and they clicked on it did someone look up this topic and click on my video or did they go on my channel and click it from my channel and I feel like not a lot of people understand how important this is because this is something that will tell you where your videos are doing good so let's say that you are a specific niche channel of like let's say let's say you do let's say you do stuffed animal reviews okay let's say you do stuffed animal reviews <laughs> sorry if all your views are coming from being recommended on someone's homepage then you can keep doing what you're doing but like let's say your views are coming from your own channel like people literally go to your channel and click on those you can see oh what videos thumbnails did good and can I use that formula in a way for your next thumbnail so like being able to tell how good a video did will literally tell you oh you should try doing something like this because people are looking for that and if you do that then you're good you're golden you're perfect and pretty and sexy and stupid hot sorry I don't know what's wrong with me today I just I think my pee is going in my brain also I don't know if it's just me but I like looking at numbers like I love looking at numbers which is why I want to go into marketing and I honestly feel like it is something that you should pay attention to but it's not the end all be all at the end of the day it's having fun on YouTube I think is the most important thing number I forget but the next one is have like a formula have a style this is sort of like a loose interpretation because I when I say have a formula a lot of people might think oh make a video and if it does good make that same video 50 times that's not what I mean I mean if you have like a good video that you make you can make more of that video for sure but you got to like expand your library if someone is only coming to your channel for a certain thing then that's cool but if someone's wanting to look at more stuff then you can make stuff that's related so let's say you do thrifting videos which I do sometimes you should go watch them endless thrifting videos that's fine and dandy but like maybe throw in like a lookbook or a get ready with me you can throw in like something that works and if it sticks then maybe that's good but I guess that's more style wise like kind of cater your videos and your channel to what you want them to be and what you think people are going to your channel for but I think by formula I mainly mean like a process I think that's a better word have your own set process so let's say that when you film you may be batch film so you film three videos that day and it honestly saves a lot of time editing multiple videos at once because then instead of let's say filming a video on Monday then one on Wednesday then one on Friday you have to set up for those three videos all three days which kind of triples your work but if you decide hey maybe let me film three videos on Monday then you have the rest of the week to edit them or maybe even next week or next next week but if you're filming and editing and uploading the same day that's a lot rougher than just filming on one day editing on one day and then uploading and publishing and doing all that on another day which honestly it's just a lot more stress relieving than doing it all at once in three separate times and this is honestly something that helped me and allowed me to be consistent for so long is the fact that I was able to film like two three videos a day and then like edit them the next day and then not have to worry about anything for the rest of the week obviously like I was 16 so like school and stuff but that doesn't matter and there's a lot more on this topic that I want to touch on so I might make like a part two or a part three because there's just not I can't fit everything into one video but there is a lot that comes to making and being successful on YouTube and that is 
honestly like have a process that you're proud of and have a process that you can rely on and also batch edit it does help a lot and i think this is my last point for today but it is also touching on the last point and that is have a schedule have a schedule of when you film have a schedule of where you film just have a schedule on when you upload and this is also like what are you branding to your audience like what day do you upload and this is actually something that i kind of low-key struggled on and that's mainly because i was so inconsistent that i would say i yeah i upload on wednesdays but then it would be like 50 wednesdays between videos it was bad so i my channel banner currently says videos every week and i've been keeping up with that and i've tried my best to stick between friday to sunday that's my little block to upload but one day and hopefully this day is very soon because i actually have a lot of videos filmed ready to go which i've never had before on this channel but like i can say uploads every monday or uploads every friday or whatever so then people know hey this person uploads every friday if you are able to be consistent enough to the point where you're like oh hey by the way my next video is next monday uh make sure to subscribe and like and comment then people know which by the way you should subscribe and like and comment i upload every friday to sunday i'm working it's probably just gonna be saturday but please subscribe i'm, I'm literally begging look at this dog would you say no to this dog if you did, what's wrong with you? And honestly, that is all I got for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit about me. You know, I've definitely been doing this for way too long, but I plan on doing this honestly for the rest of my life. I genuinely just want to say thank you if you watched this whole thing. I literally love you and I literally will kiss you on the lips if you want that. Obviously, consent is very important. But I just want to say if you want more videos like this, let me know. I definitely have a lot of experience in this a whole decade i'm literally a whole decade but make sure to like comment and subscribe i love you i will see you all next time and make sure to stay sexy i think that you are sexy i, I don't know what this is i gotta go i got i gotta piss piss is in my brain okay bye uh